Welcome back to Grade 10 Mathematical Literacy. Today we're dealing with proportion and it's found on page 32 of your textbook. Proportion is another concept that forms part of the basic skills and it's a very important concept because it is useful when we deal with exchange rates, when we deal with painting problems, when we deal with scale, and calculating distances on maps. Direct proportion, two quantities A and B are in direct proportion if by whatever number, so if we multiply A by a number, we must multiply B by the same number. So for example, if I say one multiplied by two is two, then I must say three multiplied by two, and the answer will be six. 1 multiplied by 3 is 3, 3 multiplied by 3 is 9. 1 multiplied by 5 is 5, 3 multiplied by 5 is 15. The two quantities are in proportion, in direct proportion, if both values start at 0, The numbers are consecutive and there is a constant difference. So for example, I say 15 minus what gives me 12? 3. So I'm going to say 12 minus what gives me 9? 12 minus 3. 9 minus what gives me 6? Minus, um, minus 3. So I have a constant difference and I work from right to left. So in other words, 2 to 6 equals 1 third. 3 to 9 will also equal 1 third. 6 to 18 will equal 1 third. Values are in, the, in proportion and then they will always simplify to the same ratio, 1 to 3. Let's look at example one. The cost of tomatoes is 10 Rand 99 per kilogram. This means that one kilogram costs 10 Rand 99. Five kilograms, well, five kilograms would cost five times 10 Rand 99, which is 54.95. Half a kilogram, I'm taking and I'm dividing by two, so 10.99 divided by two, will give you 550. Okay, we have a direct proportion relationship because from 1 to 10, I multiply by 10. 1099, I multiply by 10 and I get 109 Rand 90. Also notice that the cost of 3 kilograms is 3297. This will simplify 1 to 1099. If I have 10 kilograms, if I had to simplify, it will also simplify to 1 to 10 Rand 99. <clears throat> inverse or indirect proportion. Inverse or indirect proportion. What happens here is the two quantities are in an inversely proportional relationship if as the 1 increases, you can see A increases. So I'm going 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and so on. So as A increases, look what's happening to B. 12, 6, 4, 3. So B is decreasing. So the first thing we check when seeing which type of proportion we're dealing with, you have a look and see where the 1 is increasing while the other one decreases, then you test for indirect proportion. There is a constant product. Product means multiply. So in other words, what is happening? I'm saying 1 times 12 will give me 12. 2 multiplied by 6 will give you 12. 6 multiplied by 2 will give you 12. So every time I multiply these two values together, 
my answer remains the same. There is a constant product. Let's have a look at this example. A group of friends hire a bus at the cost of 3,000 Rand. The amount that each person will pay depends on the number of people traveling on the bus. So if one person travels, that person will pay 3,000 Rand. If two people travel, we would each have to pay 1,500 because two multiplied by 1,500 will give you 3,000. Three times 1,000, 3,000. 10 times 300, 3,000. 60 times 50 Rand will give you 3,000. Notice again, as this increases, as the number of people increases, so the cost per person decreases. Today's exercise is on page 33 and it's exercise 6. Thank you.